in. Welcome to the number one UFC podcast in the world, No Brainer MMA. This episode is brought to you by HelloFresh. Too lazy to cook, too cheap for Uber Eats? Try HelloFresh. And remember, guys, if you have a gaming problem, don't bring it up. It's very, very embarrassing. We're going to get right into this UFC 287, Alex Pereira versus Israel Adesanya 2. All right, fourth time's the charm, I guess. Pereira has bent the style bender three times. And Israel still wants some more. Adesanya is coming off that brutal fifth round KO heard around the world. And add insult to injury, he was arrested at the airport the next day when he tried to leave the country with a pair of brass knuckles. That really must have just been rock bottom. The guy who beat you two times already just knocks you out when you're about to win. And then you get thrown in the slammer the next day. If that happened to me, I probably would have just epstein and hung myself in my jail cell. I'm going to recap the last fight real quick. Um... Round one, the fight got off to a pretty fast start, both just attacking each other, a lot of kicks, kind of just looked like a Muay Thai, you know, technical Muay Thai fight. Uh, back and forth, Pereira did start a little slow, Adesanya ended by wobbling Pereira with a combo in the late round, and it looked like, uh, and he was, not it looked like, he was saved by the bell, Pereira. Uh, round two, Pereira recovered pretty good, got back to work, Adesanya ends up getting some control time on the fence, and Pereira ends the round with a takedown. At this point, it's 1-1 going into the third. The third round is probably the most dominant round for Israel Adesanya. He got a takedown, his first takedown in his entire UFC career, spanning 14 fights, and then close to four minutes of control time from that one takedown. So now the score goes up 2-1 Adesanya. Round four, another close round. Adesanya was landing the bigger shots and was dictating the fight, playing his game, had more control time on the fence uh landing more shots at a higher rate and of course in the fifth round Anasanya checks a kick gets him off balance a little bit Pereira takes advantage of it lands some big shots empties the tank looking for a finish and the ref stops it now a couple things to take away from that fight Anasanya really did look great but it wasn't like the normal game plan we were used to seeing from him it was j it was very different because we're used to seeing just Israel Anasanya goes out does his thing you know strikes with people gets out of no one lands any strikes on him and he takes the fight. And that was good and bad. Obviously, he wanted to minimize the damage. He was holding him up against the fence, going for takedowns. But also, he was kind of out of his element. Oh, Drunk. Donnie, you're out of your element. It, that's not really the game that he plays. Especially when he got that takedown, it was nice to see him pepper in a takedown, knowing that Alex has far less grappling experience. But in the same breath, it worried me because we've seen, we've never seen Israel do this, wanting to engage in these positions ever maybe that means he's just lacking confidence which you know is totally you know reasonable for this matchup uh, and it just has to be real, so demoralizing knowing that for two fights now he's almost won almost running away with the fight and got the carpet ripped out from underneath him when he was at the finish line and uh falls short forget about the skill mentally that has to be the biggest obstacle to overcome there's such great pressure for him to finally get a win here for this matchup i expect adesanya to have a more grappling heavy approach honestly he just did so well with it last time so i totally wouldn't be surprised if that was his game plan now on to Pereira, who started his weight cut last week already he's got 47 pounds to cut he's got three weeks to do it but that is just an unheard of uh weight cut but he's gonna have a massive size advantage against israel and that's pretty big because that's gonna make it really tough for adesanya obviously to win this fight he probably should grapple more you don't really want to test the power of Pereira. obviously you've been knocked out twice but israel's gonna be at a massive size disadvantage it's not even close it's gonna make it really difficult for in those grappling situations Pereira, i think will have a similar game plan to his last time out Take his time, pace himself, counter when you can, attack the legs. I think he'll be a lot more comfortable out there, more confident this time around. He's been there before against one of the best middleweights of all time. I also think he's going to be weary of Adesanya, Adesanya's grappling. He's gonna, I think he's going to see a lot of it coming. But sometimes, no matter the matchup, someone just has your number. And I think that's the case here. Pereira just has Adesanya's number, I think. On paper, Adesanya should win this. Just like how on paper Kamaru Usman should have ran away with that fight against Leon Edwards. And we all know how that ended. I think Pereira takes this one again. 4-0. So I'm going to be riding with the champion underdog in this one.